Hello, this is a quick tour around the new MakeCode Arcade extension for VS Code. So first of all, MakeCode Arcade is a free online learning environment from Microsoft. It's meant for students who want to build their very own retro arcade style games. Students can code in blocks, Python, or JavaScript. And for students who may be ready to take their MakeCode Arcade games to the next level, we now have a MakeCode Arcade extension for VS Code, where you can continue coding your games in TypeScript using the full language support and all the bells and whistles of a professional grade code editor. So let's take a look. Now here in VS Code, I can go to the extension marketplace and search for MakeCode. All right, when I find it, I can click to install. Now when you install the extension, the first thing you may notice is a new icon here in the action bar. This is the MakeCode Asset Explorer, where you can see all the different types of assets in your game, like images, animations, tiles, tile maps, and even songs. At the top here are a list of handy commands that you can click on to run. And you can also access these commands from the command line. So for example, if I wanted to create a new project here, create new project, oh, it looks like it's telling me I need to open a folder first. So let's go to my Explorer and open a folder. I'm just gonna um, open a folder on my desktop. Let's, um, let's create a new folder and call it um, Pigeon, since let's do a Pigeon game. All right, so now I can run that command again, create new project, and you see it gives us a couple different options. So I can create a blank project, or I can create a project from a template. Like if I wanted to create a platformer game, or like a flappy bird type of game. But now what if I wanted to continue working on a game that I've started in MakeCode Arcade? All right, let's take a look at how to do that. So back here in Arcade, I'm going to click the Share button in the upper right corner to share my game. And then I'll copy this link here. And then back in VS Code, I'm gonna select Import Project from URL. And then I'll just paste my shared game URL here. And now VS Code will unpack all of my project files. All right, and here I can click on main.ts, which is the main code file for my game, and I can continue coding here. So for example, let's say I wanted to create a new image. So let's just call my image um, and let's make it a pigeon. Now, as soon as VS Code recognizes that this is an actual an image file, it pops up this cool little light bulb code action. So if I click that, I can create click to create new image, and this will open up the Make Code image editor. And here I can draw um, like a little pigeon. Oh dear, this might not look great. Um, <laughs> I'm not even sure what that is. Um, but I can use the pixel editor just like I would in Arcade to draw my little pigeon. Um, let's give it a beak maybe and uh, some legs. Okay, my pigeon. All right, and I can also access all of the images and animations and tiles and tile maps um, from my arcade game right in here. And I can click on them and that will open them up in the asset editor and then I can continue to edit them here. Now, once I am done with um, my code and I wanna see what my actual game looks like, I can come up here to the actions uh, pane and I can compile and run my program simply by clicking Start MakeCode Simulator. 
and I'll see the arcade simulator just like I would in Make Code Arcade. And here I can uh, continue playing my game. Now I can also share my games by clicking on Create Make Code Share Link. And that will give me a link um, that I can click and share with friends uh, and they can access my game and play my games too. All right, you can also download your games from VS Code by clicking on Build Project for Hardware. And it will give you a list of different devices that you can compile your games to. For a full list of devices, you can go to our hardware page and see all of the different arcade compatible devices available for you. Now there's a lot more information in the README file uh, of this extension. And um, if you have any bugs, uh, or run into any bugs, or have any suggestions for us, please do log them in our repository at uh, VS Code-MakeCode issues. Um, and then also, please participate in our forum, forum.makecode.com. Show us what you've built or ask any questions of the team. Thanks so much.